Hey, everybody. Let's do the challenge for today. This is for 10 November. What do we got? Oh, boy. What have we got here? Well, we got a circle. <laughs> uh, with some nubs. Looks a little like a dog toy to me. Um, but let's stick with a body. Radial gradient. Background. And I think it's dead center. Uh, we put in circle because the background by default is not a square and uh, it would just, if it were, had equal sides, height and width, then we didn't have, we wouldn't need that keyword. But as it is, we do. What do you think? 100 pixels, maybe. Body, body, body. Uh, somehow I uh, typed the word radial gradient. Uh, radiation and not radial gradient. Okay. So I know that much. Um, I think my approach is going to be to create an element that is the up and down one. And then we'll rotate each successive one. But if we can create one that matches those outlines of that curve, uh, then we'll go for it. And I think the way to do that is, so I'm gonna have the background uh, be something different, like red, height, 100, uh, width. Uh, actually, I'm not gonna do a width. Uh, we'll do it with margins. So let's see if the top margin is 25 and that's probably the same as the bottom margin. That means that this height of this guy is 250. Okay. And if we make that background that color, then we kind of have it. So <clears throat> to do this, we're going to say position fixed. So each one of these is going to be precisely that height. Uh, well, no, that means actually that we need to, means these margins won't work. So we need to put that uh, where we want it. And unfortunately, that means we need a left and right. Uh, let's say 185. No, 175. And top of 25. And that gets us back where we were. And then the second one. If we remember our geometry, uh, 60, that's the second one. And then the third one, is that minus 60? So that's essentially what we need. Um, so as with anything with a curve, it's a little trickier to get right. So my first thought is to use border radius. <clears throat> We're at 98.3%. So there is roughly the shape. And notice that's just a little bit wrong, huh? If 
30, 40, 50, 60. Um, now this is additional syntax with a slash. syntax is, I believe, something like a Bezier curve. Um, let's see if that gets us 100%. If so, then we're done. Uh, if it doesn't, then we got to try other stuff. Um, I won't go more than 10 minutes just because it's a curve and there's other stuff to do. That's 100% match. We're done. Um, I wish I understood this border radius uh, with the slash in it uh, a little bit better so I could explain it to you. But look it up. Uh, have some fun with it. Let's minify. Let's get to replace. Let's eliminate spaces. And submit. Obviously, there are optimizations you could be make uh, in this with this guy, but that's pretty good for now. All right, thanks for reading. <laughs> Listening.